Hello Philippines and Hello World! I am your host, Kishane Laya, and welcome to Debate 2021! But before anything else, I will introduce to you our participants for this debate. Let us all welcome from Team A, Mary, Claire, and Dico. And from Team B, Delela Kabatingan. Let us give them a round of applause, please. But before we will start, I will read to you the criteria and policies for our judging. Criteria for Debate 2021 First, clarity of voice with 20%, thoughts and information, 60%, and presentable attire, 20%, with a total of 100%. The policies for this debate First, each participant should be responsible for their words and actions Next, our participant will be having pick a book to be fair in choosing their side Third, each participant will be given 10 seconds to analyze their side And lastly the overall duration for this debate is limited to 2 minutes only, so each participant must defend, defend their sides for only 2 minutes and vice versa. So, let us start it with a pickup. So, your topic will be which is the best for presidential office? Davao or Malacanang? So, since Mary Claire won, she will be choos choosing her side. So, Miss Mary Claire, what will you choose? I think I will choose Davao. So, the remaining team would defend the Malacanang. So, what are we waiting for? Let the battle of the brains begin! So, Miss Indico, I will give you 30 seconds to defend your answer. Your timer starts now. Dovo is the best presidential of Mr. President Rodrigo de Tarta. We all know that Dovo is the most peaceful place among the other places. Because of the influence and policies even implemented of Rodrigo Duterte. And President Duterte must have a comfortable place in order for him to relax and to have a proper job. Time's up. So it's your turn, Miss Delela Kabatingan. Your time starts now. No! Based on my research, in the first place, Malacanang Palace should be the presidential office of the president. During the administration of Corazon Aquino, the government allowed the policy that the president should be in the Malacanang Palace based on the law. You have remaining time. Time's up. Are you familiar with President Rodrigo Duterte? He is the current president of our country. He is powerful. He has a power to demand. He can do whatever he wants. So, if I were Mr. President Rodrigo Duterte, I would choose the place and that place should have his like double. Yes, of course, I know him. But what, what comes first? The government, right? It doesn't matter. What? Where was his hometown? President Rodrigo Duterte was just elected to lead our country. Before he was elected, there was a government. And so I can say, Malacanang is better than Davao. 
No, aside from that, the opinion of our president is always matter. Besides, he is a senior citizen where he needs a comfort zone in order for him to be relaxed. For me, it doesn't matter about his or where his comfort zone is. My point is the law. What is the essence of the law if he is the one who didn't obey it? Wow! That was an amazing battle between Miss Malacanang and Miss Davao. So let's give them a round of applause. And before we will end this video, please spot your bet and write it on the comment section. Thank you for watching.